Hey, uh, today it's the um, DRCC Force Edges set A and set B. There's actually two sets. We've got three of the four holds. What you're going to notice about these holds straight out is that someone was obviously doing a whole bunch of LSD when they poured these ones. They're um, a little bit psychedelic. This one's my favourite. This one has some of, it's a little bit dusty, sorry. Some of the most, um, like, just nice swirl to two separated colours plus a nice rubber back. All the holds, fairly smooth, well actually very smooth. The line between the texture and the dual texture where you can't grab is actually very well defined. These are very, very well made holds. Holds, the holes are nice nice and sunk in. They're nice. This is actually smooth. You want to use cap head screws for these, or cap head bolts, sorry, not screws. So, you cut, so they don't protrude too much. But what you're looking at is a very smooth glass-like texture. These must be really hard to photo, photo take photos of because they are actually so um, so shiny. Nice little inset DRCC logo. Good texture, not too harsh, not too smooth. Just gives you enough to get on it. You know, 45 degree walls are completely out with these holds unless you're doing some very serious opposite opposing force moves. You're not going to get anywhere. But we've got three out of the four holds from set A and set B. But they're actually an awful lot of fun to climb on. They do look like some holds from Voodoo, but you know what? They're different, they're different sizes and actually, as far as we're concerned, with the hold quality and the build quality, these are actually much better. Force A and B from DRCC. We've had them on the wall for a while, we've actually had them for a good long time. They're very, very good holds. There is one problem though, and we do like pointing out the problems. Can anyone spot the problem with this hold? No, no, didn't think so. Um, the one problem with these holds is they do actually need to have an inset screw at some point because if you get on it and you actually hang on it really quite hard, they do rotate on you a little bit. Even with the rubber back, we have turned. I have turned this one myself. The rubber back does stop the spin, but I hit this hold very, very hard and it did rotate on me a little. It didn't do a full like stink and throw me. It just went, you know. They could do with a screw hold just, just in case. You know, different climbers, different things, you could actually spin these. But you have to try it very, very hard with the rubber back, um, which is always nice. All the holds DRCC send us actually have rubber backs on them, so it's really, really good. And we've never had really had too much of a spin with these buggers, but once this one did spin. So that's it. Um, force, force edges A and B. We'll get back to you on how they climb. Later.